Hey guys, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make the hat system like in the VR chat hat uh, world made by Cyan Laser. And yeah, so as you can see here, I've got three diamonds in front of me. And basically, if I just grab one, pop it on top of my head, and let go, it's locked to my head. So I can do this with multiple objects. Uh, so I'm just going to grab the other diamonds. Just pop them wherever I want, and they're all stuck to my head. So there is a neat thing that you can do with uh, different items and stuff, is you can have them linked to other triggers in the world. Um, so as here, I've got this little health system in this world here that I've set up for another project um, that I'm doing. And if I just decrease my health that I have, as you can see, the diamond will change colour. You can't really see it because of the skybox that I have. Um, but if I go right the way down to zero, oh, they go, it goes black, meaning that I'm dead. So let's, uh, jump into unity and I'll show you guys how we set this system up. Okay. So now that we're in unity, what we want to do is first set up the project and get all the stuff that you need. So number one, uh, thing you're going to need is, uh, the VRChat SDK. Uh, that's to upload the worlds and stuff like that. And then the second one you need is the toy box uh, prefab, uh, which I will give a link down in the description on where to download it. It's on this page here. What you want to do is then scroll down and find uh, VLC prefab toy box version 2.1. It could be any version. Uh, this is the current version that I've, what is out at the moment. What you're then going to want to do is scroll over to the end and you have the download link here. If you just click it, It'll then redirect you to the download page. If you want to download it, just click here, download, and then direct download and save it wherever you want. I'm not going to download it now because I've already got it. So what I'm going to do is close this and jump over back to Unity. So to start out, we need to set up a few things. And first one being um, the hats that you want to actually make into hats. So what I've got here is a really simple SEO style diamond that I modeled. Um, and this is what I'm going to use to lock to our head as we saw in at the start of the video. Um, now what I'm going to do is I've already got a material which I'm going to use. I'm using the, uh, the MK X-Ray Free uh, shader to make this like a see-through material. All it's done is I've selected the shader and then set these to red and there we go. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to right click here and we're going to create an empty game object. I'm going to duplicate this again because we need two. And the first one we're going to call uh, hats. So this is where you're going to be parenting all of your hats in the game and stuff like that. So like this, for example. And then the second one is going to be the name of the hat that you're making. So I'm just going to call this health diamond. You can call this whatever you want. Like if you're making a wizard hat, just call it like wizard hat, for example. And what you're going to want to do is right click here create empty we're going to call this locking and then once you've done that drag the player diamond the health diamond into here and there we go so what you what uh, you've got here is you've now got a uh, a resizable object and this is where we're going to be dealing with all the locking for the um the hat itself and locking it to the player head um but in order for us to do that, we need to go into the toy box, and this is the reason why we downloaded it, and we need to find the uh, player tracker object. So I'm going to quickly try and find this now. Okay, so basically uh, I re-imported the toy box thing from another project of mine, and I moved the uh, folder to somewhere else. You should have just a folder here called player tracking. Um, if you just open that up, you'll have a prefab inside here which is called uh, player tracking and just pop it into your scene and we're basically done on with the player tracker now. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're now going to set up the uh, locking system. So what I'm going to do is create another empty game object. I'm going to duplicate these. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to quickly set this and reset position and I'm going to set this to minus 90. There we go. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to call this the uh, first one button parenting. And then I'm going to call the second one button unparenting. 
There we go. Cool. Right. So you'll understand in a sec. We'll set this up in just a second. Um, but first, I want to get into the locking game object. Now, what you're going to want to do on the locking game object is add a rigid body. And you're going to toggle off, use gravity, and set this to kinematic. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add a collider of some sort. This could be any collider you want. I'm going to add this a mesh collider because I created a really simple object. So there's not many polygons on here. So if you're having like a massive hat, like really, really loads and loads of detail, you could just add a box collider onto it and you'll be all sorted. Now on this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to trigger. Uh, if it was a box collider, uh, you just set this to trigger here. Um, but since it's a mesh collider, I'm just going to set it to convex and then is trigger. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my game object, uh, the model, and I'm going to drag it into the mesh, except that didn't want to work. Uh, instead, what I have to do is click on the model down in my inspector, grab the pyramid, and there we go. Now what I need to do is set the rotation for my locking to minus 90 degrees. And then what I'm going to do is set this to zero so that it's aligned with the collider. Cool. Now what I'm going to do next is I am going to add a object sync uh, script from the uh, VRChat SDK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off allow uh, collision transfer and that object's done. All this object does is just sync object in, your, in the world scene through the server and stuff. Next I'm going to add a pickup script. Now I'm going to keep this basically how it is except I'm going to change this to auto hold to yes. Um, all that does is just when you pick up an object uh, if you're using the Vive uh, it locks to your controller and for you to let go you have to click the grip button but for oculus they don't uh, use this function at all it's just you have to hold down no matter what so next now what i'm going to add is a trigger script from the uh, vr chat uh, sdk now i'm going to add uh, advanced mode so we have like the buffer settings and stuff next what i'm going to add is a on pickup function click add set the buffer to always and then I'm going to add another one, which is on pickup use down. And I'm going to add this and I'm going to set this one to local. Now what I'm going to do here is on both events, I'm going to add set game object active, set game object active. And then what I'm going to do here, I'm going to set the unparenting to active and I'm going to set this to true. And then on the second one, I'm going to set uh, parenting to active and set that to true as well okay so this is almost done actually this is pretty much done uh, we've got the trigger functions so whenever we pick up uh, the diamond and we click down uh, whenever we pick it up it'll set the parent unparent to um, the health diamond uh, game, the hats game object that we made, and then what, when we use it, it will set it to the parent which we're going to set up now so that it will track the head. So, what we're now going to do is we're going to go to the two game objects that we made earlier, and we are going to, in button parenting and unparenting, we're going to add the exact same components. Now we're going to add a animator. I just remembered as well that I needed to add an animator to the locking component, so I'll do that in a sec. And then we're going to add a button component. Now I'm going to quickly go over to here and add the animator. Now what we're going to do on this animator is we're going to click this little button here and we're going to type in uh, event selector once. Now what this does is if we click it and we go into the animator animation tab um, this this comes with the toy box as you can see here where we clicked on it and it showed us in the uh, project if we click this event here all it does is uh, it makes it press uh, a button if it's got a button on the animator pretty much um, I'm not too sure why this is meant to be here I don't think it does have to be here but I've got one here anyway just to be safe now we're gonna do the exact same on this side and we're gonna just grab this from here 
Go ahead and get on in here. So all this does is just unclick, boom, does these functions down here. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click the plus object and I'm going to add two of them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set, I'm going to grab the main game object that we made, which has all of the locking and the, uh, the model and stuff on underneath it. We're going to grab, pop it into the first one and we're going to set the transform. Nope. Yeah, the transform to set parent. And since we're parenting this, we're going to set it to the player handle. Now, all this is going to do is uh, set the main object to the player hand, uh, setting the parent of the main object to the player handle, and then it will be able to track your head and stuff. Now, what we're going to then add here is we're going to add button parenting into here. And yes, button parenting into here. And we're going to set it active transform. No, game object, set active, sorry guys, and we're going to keep this as false. Now what I'm going to do is I did remember that these need to be the other way around, so I'm going to quickly just fix that. There we go. So what it then does is it registers this first, and then it does all of what inside here, and then it will register this. So we're going to grab over to here. We're going to just quickly right click, copy component, go into here, paste the values, and it's the exact same over here, except we're just going to change it around. So unparenting, we're going to set this to set active keep it off and then we're going to set hats uh yes we're going to set the the health diamond thingy or the hat object to the hats transform uh parent so what it will then do is whenever you uh pick up the um object again from your head or anywhere in the scene it will then dock it to here so there we go and now we are done so i'm going to quickly jump into vr chat to show you that this does work and i'll see you over there one last thing before we jump into vr chat um you need to make sure that these two are set to not active as default otherwise when you jump into uh, vr chat or you just the master loads into the world um every single hat will be parented to that player um, until someone else takes it off them so if you're in a world on your own you'll have every single hat uh, parented to your head um, and you can't do anything about it so if you just make sure these are set to inactive uh, on default uh, you won't have that behavior so if we just jump into VR chat now and show you that this all works and we'll be good to go okay so now that we're in VR chat as you can see I can interact with the object and if I click the uh, trigger as you can see it's locked to my hand because we set the auto hold so if I just want to pop it up here, and if I click the trigger again, which triggers the on you on pick up use function down, and then click the grip, as you can see, it's now locked to my head. So if I turn to the side, move my head, it's all locked. So and then if I grab it again, and then drop it, it's no longer locked to my head. So yeah, that's how you do object parenting to your head, such as hats and stuff. Um, so yeah, I hope to see um, all kinds of things that you guys do in your worlds now with this hat system. Yeah, like my in the starting of the video, I had it so that um, my diamonds was linked to a health system, and yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped out. So have a good one, guys.